guys. Guys, yeah, it's gonna be you. How many of them are there? Guys, it's gonna be a high energy show. It's gonna be fun. So everyone is more than welcome to move up and stand. Uh, right here is about the good distance here. So we're good. Business side out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen. Get back. 
So, how are we enjoying the con so far? It's like 
New York, but with more fish. This uh, the holy demon spawn looks like your rivers in the morning, but down here she's quite a dish. Aquatic nightmare drones are known to freely roam with little sisters who require their help. I mean to tell you plainly, Mister, if that thing there was my sister, I believe I disown myself. Oh, this is lovely. Anyway, we're stuck a while in rapture. I can't stop looking at politically. It's tense. Jennifer Terry scream. It's an Iran wet dream. And brother, I mean so. And I'm not even joking. Don't you know? The locals love the lifestyle. Watch them scale the walls with glee. They're glad they came on down to the best of town at the bottom of the deep blue sea. Try out the new invent. It doesn't cost the set. You're gonna love to mix and match. Just steal some glue from evil red guy and a screw from smelly dead guy and you made some crap from scratch. Well done. And there's this Atlas Joe right on your radio and he'll give you a helpful hint and such. I bet you'll do his bidding blindly and the others would you kindly but oh, I've said too much. So you get a bit of story and a horrid killing spree because you came up the best in some town, you try and not to drown, in this creepy town, it really takes the crowd, though it's the only town, at the bottom of the deep blue sea, forget it, Landis is the best little town, at the bottom of the deep blue, somewhere beyond the sea, they spell it R-A-P-T-U-R-E. I said dance, so it was my fault. I kept getting distracted, like, what is going on? We've got spider splicers and, like, thug splicers and, like, ballerina splicers. It's amazing. I mutated to be able to do this. Or whatever. It's not really, it's like genetic. I don't know, man. But Bioshock's one of those games that I actually do want to explain to me, because, like, basically knowing the, the essential idea of it is, like, the coolest thing ever. When you start breaking it down. It gets complicated, for my money. Um, so this next one, it's kind of a classic. It's near and dear to my heart. Um, a lot of you were not alive when the Disney Afternoon was on TV. A lot of you were merely, merely seen in the time. Um, but, uh, but there was this kick-ass cartoon called DuckTales that just totally encompassed the 80s because it was about a rich guy. And most episodes involved him protecting his riches from less rich people. And, uh, you know, like Blomgold, Flint Hart, or whatever. Like, you know, trying to get Flint Hart, Gom Blomgold. I, I mean, I was a kid. It was like Scrooge, McDuck, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. The easy to pronounce ones, that's what I remember. But on the, um, on the NES video game from 1990, which was, uh, by the way, 23 years ago, if you, if you felt like feeling old, or so young because you totally weren't born. Um, this game, there was a level that just exemplified Scrooge's insanity. He's gonna go where? To the moon! Why? Gold! Gold and jewels and treasure! The best reason to go to the moon. Then again, Lance Bass tried the same thing, so let's... Let's be honest. That is like a five or six year old dusty ass joke, man. When was that even? I don't, I don't know where that came from. My mouth opens up and shit happens. Hey, before I do that though, there's another tradition that I like to do at, at all shows that involves this bag. I raise it up and then I put it away. It's kind of a weird tradition. Anyway, um, uh, in fact though, no, this is, this is my favorite thing to do because uh, if you didn't feel like children enough already, I'm going to throw candy at you. And a lot of it, so just get ready. There's nothing better. This is, you think this is for you. Sorry, man. Are you okay? Sorry, dude. Some landed in your lap, so there's your consolation prize. My bad. All right. I'm going to go underhanded like pretty much everything I do. This is, you think this is for you. You think this is for your enjoyment, but man, this is really just the fact that 
There's nothing more fun than looking at the looks on your faces when suddenly candy is the only thing you've ever wanted, apparently. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's Alright. I'm basically like some kind of projectile vomiting pinata. And it's amazing. And the thing is, if I go past you guys and sit in the scenic people, I just don't want them to be surprised by... Oh, by the way, um, on behalf of the higher regency, uh, a.k.a. Um, <laughs> River of Piss Inc., um, please don't... Please don't uh, leave the trash on the floor if you don't mind, that would be great. By the way, give it up for Nick, who's uh, finding, no doubt, no doubt the sexiest angles, or else. Um, and also, uh, the guys running sound in the back, trying to make me sound good. Thank you guys so much. And uh, two more people, Brian, who announced me, and Jake, who's one of my PowerPoint. They're both kicking ass, and I appreciate it a lot. I just wanted to say that. And also, surprise, more dandy, oh my god. It's awesome. It's awesome watching people try to catch it. Some don't use their hands. Like, it's like they're refusing to catch it, but they do this and they can catch it with their eyelid. It's amazing. I'm really proud of all of you. For you. Um, my favorite candy is the kind that I eat at my Q&A panel, which you apparently missed. Um, um, because that was the time. But no, in real life, in real life, I'm not a douche. In real life, Rolos are my favorite candy. They do melt in your mouth, and your hand, and pretty much everywhere. My rental car, yeah, they pretty much... Where don't they melt? Uh, rental car, yes, that is a joke that I've never made myself. The Avis rental car guy is not amused. He's like, okay, great, get out, get out of here. It's a rental car, whatever, give me money. Um, so before I was rudely interrupted by me, uh, I was talking about DuckTales, and this is a song about Scrooge McDuck going to the moon. If you know where to sing along and yell things at me and clap, do. And if you don't, try anyway. It'll be awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Come to the moon with me, y'all. Alright. Ducks!
voice all weekend in the vendor area. And uh, so there's not much of it left, but whatever there is, I'm giving it to you, baby. It's all for you. Um, this next one, this next one concerns, ha did somebody say have my babies? Yeah. And it was a dude, wasn't it? <laughs> Always the dudes. Science has not perfected it, okay? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> wow. This is sort of a TED talk now, all of a sudden. All right, back enough now, back enough. Um, this next one is in fact about, speaking of which, the, the, um, the practice of medicine. Um, it is a great career, what can I say? And I feel like lots of people are cut out to be, to be doctors. Lots of people that do TED Talks. Um, you know, Dr. House, good call. Dr. Oz, why did I say that? Like I watched that. Change the subject. Um, it's on the gym, it's for you guys. So anyway, um, but Dr. Mario, not a good call. I'm looking at you, plumber. Look, look, look. I trust you when my toilet has too much poo in the pipes and nothing else, okay? So, so thanks, but uh, this is about Dr. Mario. Here we go. All right. I am Dr. Mario and I am saving lives. I know different in this game. I love that. Here we go. It takes a lot of people to build a giant money 
It's somewhere on this. Okay. Cool. And there's an especially long intro, so I'm gonna make stuff up. Uh, no, I'm not. Four score and seven years ago. What's funny is when your human face laughs, your eyeballs go.
There's a prince for you And it's a me But until then I'll keep on swimming in the sea There's some other feelings, actually, it turns out. Uh, that you can have. Um, now that one sometimes bums people out. So this next one I'm going to do, I did the last SGC, but I never, it's never been recorded, so if you weren't there, hopefully it'll be a new experience for you. Um, can we see that next slide, please? This is called The Little Mario Maid. It's under, it's under the sea themed, so we're still segueing smoothly, but it's sort of to get us out of the, the, the doldrums of that one. So here we go. I'm just kidding. I want to be where the princess is. I want to see, want to see them titties jigging around in my What's that word again? Oh, face. Picking my legs, I don't get too far, but I can somehow breathe underwater. I've got fireballs, but how do they? What's the word? Sort of 
have sworn off making rape jokes in, in Mad Libs just because, uh, you know, I'm just trying to teach the youth of today that it just doesn't get you laid to make those jokes. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out. All right. Alienation. I didn't mean to alienate you guys by dogging your rape jokes. Here I go. Um, so, uh, a type of, let's see, um, a type of person. Nutcase, I like it. Something you might want to avoid. Diarrhea. Uh, diarrhea. Okay, something uh, that you can hold in your hand. What? Testicles. This is a hell of a Bible study, I gotta tell you. Um, Alright, I'm gonna get through these as fast as I can. Give me a nickname. Jesus! I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. What? What was that? Stifler? Keep going. What? Dick Sweat? Okay. I'm gonna take Dick Sweat and Huckleberry Finn. The strangest Jeopardy category ever. I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. Oh, it's only 11:32. I'm doing all right. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, a body part. Fire. Elbow. The glutes. The gooch. Yeah. The gooch, depending on who you are, means different things. So just create your own gooch venture, okay? Um, all right. Uh, Give me an occupation one could hold. Gynecologist. <laughs> Racist is not an occupation. Although there's a lot of talk radio hosts that would disagree. Um, oh! Alright. So, uh, I don't even know what's happening anymore with this show. Alright, give me a... Uh, let's see, something that you can be fast or slow with. TARDIS. All right, you nerds. TARDIS it is. Well, lots of people scratch their heads. It's a Doctor Who thing. Um, something that you can crave. Toenail. You crave toenails? Are you a monster? Are you like a children's book monster? You better clip those toenails or you know who's going to be here. He's going to come to your closet and beat your big toenails. You better clip. The toenail boogeyman. It's like the shitty, like, like Santa Claus makes you like a good person and a good kid. The toenail monster just makes you clip your toenails. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Yeah. Cool. We'll talk about that later when it's a conversation on a show. Um, so, I'm just kidding. Good contribution. Um, give me a type of person. What? Sociopath. I like it. Okay, we're, we're getting closer to done. Something that you might, uh, might look out for. Dr. Seuss book now. <laughs> but the toenail monster, my toenails are not. Um, here we go. Um, something one can give to somebody else. Her, herpes? Herpes. So, so just one herpes. Okay. Cool. Uh, another, something you can be in the mood for. Intimacy. Intimacy. I like that. I really do. Intimacy. Um, Alright. Uh, something you can do to somebody else. Cock block? Oh, that's too bad. But that's what it's gonna be. Alright, um, finish this sentence. Uh, smells like a... Convention. Oh, don't lie. Eight showers have been taken among all of us. Um, all right, uh, now finish the 
person that sounds like a wiener. Well, if you don't know. Um, all right. Um, something else you can give to somebody else. Okay, we've got, I think we've got two more. This is one of my favorite Mad Libs to do. I saved it for such a second. Um, yeah, that's how it's said. Um, okay, so, uh, something that you can either crave or totally not want ever. My sister's so mad, she's like, licorice, licorice! I've been saying for fucking ever. They're too far away. For you, for you, Kara, make your shoes. Um, and one more, just a type of man. Run back. What? Time Lord it is. Okay. We're almost, I just... No, we are done. I'm just uh, making sure all my uh, P's and Q's. You don't do anything with P's. T's and Q's, whatever. Yeah, I's, Q's, all the things you dot and slash and erase again. So somebody said Billy Joel earlier, which is interesting because um, that's the wrong instrument altogether. <laughs>
Cause he knows that it's me They've been coming to cock block To forget about the toenail monster for a while And the piano it sounds like a wiener Oh, 